Hey everybody, welcome back. Uh, we're, we're, we're playing Alan Wake, because this game sucks. American Nightmare. American Nightmare. This game is garbage. No, I'm kidding. This game's actually pretty alright. You know, uh, it just got no, kind of garbage. The original Alan Wake was garbage. The original Alan Wake was way worse. This is actually somewhat entertaining. If only because uh, Evil Alan is just... E e evil Alan is just... Is just a wonder you can just tell and a delight. The casting director's like, look, I know Alan's a real boring character. Just have fun with this one. Yeah, just like, just go nuts, man. Whatever you want to do. Just have fun. We, you know, we're fuck done. It, fuck it. Yeah, we're I got you. Whoa, hey, big guy. We're not getting a sequel. Just do whatever the yeah. fuck you want. Yeah, this is gonna end. This is gonna end right here. We all know it. We all know it. Boom! Right, right in your big gut. All right, I'm gonna return to Emma now. Wait, I'm actually gonna go here first. I'm gonna dodge with my plaid shirt. Get some more ammunition. What ammo do I have? I got the crossbow. Matt, do you, do you remember the crossbow? crossbow? Remember that the crossbow? crossbow? that can destroy anything. Like the best in real crossbow. Life? Thanks for saving me again. I'd hate to die before I'm scared. Dude, I've been there. Hold on, I'm gonna turn this up. I can't hear shit. You to thank for setting everything up at the oil derrick. Yeah, well, I figured that if we were going to go over this again, we might as well try Sure, a woman who's not real and died eight times. You took a big chance doing that. Okay. This shot A, shot B stuff is amateur hour. I'm just saying. You, you, you know what this is like? Uh, the, this is like all of the Star Wars prequels. Just shot A, shot B, shot A, shot B. I'm George Lucas. No, oh, so hi, she, I'm George Lucas. So she, I'm in my chair right now and I got my shot A, my shot B, and, and that's going to be great. We're not going to yeah. have any sets or do anything interesting. David Merriman described writing be so as, much better. as talking to yourself and then writing down the conversation. This is definitely just Alan Wake having a conversation with himself, imagining what women would say to him. Yeah, he, he, he's just like, oh, Alan, you're so handsome. Ooh, your crossbow is so big. That, this, is, this is what Alan Wake spends his time doing. He's drunk with Barry in that fucking, like, in that house where the weird shit is happening after the rock show. And he's like, I'm Alan, a writer. Alan, why is the... Why is the um, Boom. Astronomist wearing a tight, you know, top and uh, and almost no real scientist clothing because that's how I want it. Because because that's how I want it. <laughs> Duh. I, I'm Alan Wick. I'm Does a she writer. Have God to be damn. Super hot. Yes. yes. They all have to be super hot. Hold on. How do I? What the, what's the flashbang button again? Hold on. I, I, there we go. All right. That's what I wanted. Fuck off, crossbow. Crossbow. You right in your face. Okay. How about you? Right in that kneecap. Damn it. Missed it. Hold on. I want to shoot him in the knee. Boom! Still kill him. All right, let's let's do a thing. Wait, I'm gonna save Emma. I'm I'm Alan. I, I I'm heroic. Oh wait, <gasps> we get to see Evil Alan. Yes. Let's, let's see what Evil Alan's uh, got to say today. Make sure we can see him. Yeah. So oh. About I never do that. Oh, I th I think we saw this. <laughs> Yay! Yeah. Thank you. You know what, Evil Alan? Maybe you're not evil. Right. Wait, is he doing the voice for both? That sounded a lot like him. I was gonna say, like, Alan Wake's kind of a dickhole. No one likes him. He's gonna stare at that sh- <laughs> I, I guess so. I really like that, that they actually got, they, they got the guy, the voice actors to do all this. Must have been fun. He is. He's he's a weirdo. Did you know he's been hanging out with the sheriff from that shitty little town? I'll bet they do. They keep in touch. Barry's about the only guy who insists that you're not dead. Yeah, because he's Barry, and he's wrong about everything. I am dead. This is just your dying moments. What if that's all this is? Just you dying and your brain trying to rationalize it. Mm -hmm. You are a writer. Very, it, uh, it would make sense. It's very occurrence at Owl Creek Bridge. I know, right? I'm just tired. What can I say, man? I'm just I'm on the cutting edge. Just to see him go to That's the spirit. Uh, you know what, Evil Alan? You're all right in my book, buddy. Yeah. Occurrence at Alan Wake Bridge. Yeah, really. <laughs> Alan of Wake Creek. You, never, right. you know what you never see? The bad guy drinking so much he starts getting drunk. Yeah. Like he, they, they're always sipping. He, they never get to the point where like, wow, this is real good. They never get to the, they never get to the point where like, holy shit, this cocktail is amazing. You also. Know, I'm probably I'm probably going to just kill Barry. Yeah, I'm not going to lie. I am way too drunk to think of plans. <laughs> just, I'm just going to call him in here and shoot him. <laughs> the next TV, he's like leaning over like, oh, oh God. The next TV is him like all propped up with a gun. He's like, Barry, come <laughs> in here. <laughs> he's going to shoot 
you. And then and then Bear comes in. He's like, "Ow, what's up?" And he like tries to shoot him and misses, and, like hits him in the leg. And he's like, "Oh God damn it, Barry, stop! <laughs> this was always- stop! Stop having two of you here." This was always our problem, Al. We never knew when to quit drinking. <laughs> Stay still. <laughs> Boom. Um, here's the key. Oh. Like that's how you beat him with your own alcoholism. <laughs> yeah, you're just like you. You, you, you just have to. Was it? Uh, I pick your po- what is it? Uh, hey, I I pick your poison. It's time to send the boys in. What's the thing? Uh, um, uh, what's it? If you don't name your poison, I'll have to, to send, send the, the boys in. in. The yeah. spirit of adventure opens one. Yeah, side. and, and it's like it's like you know, one that's pink. A, that's lady. a terrible movie, but that's a great song. Oh yeah. Uh, for those who don't know, Return of Captain. Oh uh, yeah, I don't actually know the movie title or anything, but um, uh, Christopher Lee uh, plays this. Um, he plays it's a Alan super Arkin villain. And Christopher Lee and Christopher Lee yeah. plays the bad guy. It's from the same people who did Rocky Horror. It's not. It's not like good, as good per se. Like it's not even good by itself. Yeah. But it's, but Alan Arkin's superhero is alcoholic, and so Christopher Lee. There's a song number where he tries to basically kryptonite him to get with him to drinks drink. yeah and he just starts singing about drinks and he makes drink puns like my tie say i'm old-fashioned and it's <laughs> yeah. just like and it's just it's it's probably the only watchable part of the movie but yeah, it is it's so, pretty good so watchable and, and you know what and it's, it's and, and it actually is kind of interesting to have a hero whose whose main power is actually like a is like a very common or is his main weakness is a common thing well iron man but oh well i mean iron man already did you that the, the mcu took away his alcoholism and that ticked me off yeah well well, no, I mean, uh, they had it kind of... It was, like, kind of a subplot in Iron Man 2. But not really. Kind of, He got yeah. drunk once and started well, shooting I mean, shit. Iron Man 2 was, like, not a great movie. No. Let's all be it, honest. It's the worst. It had some cool bits. Of like, the Iron Man movies. Like, for instance, uh, the silver Centurion. Uh, Centurion suit. Fucking love that thing. Oh, that's, yeah. my, that's my favorite Iron Man and suit. And they actually made... And it this, looked great. They made the suitcase suit actually plausible yeah it like looks really just cool taking it out of a suitcase the yeah. suitcase became the suit well i mean at, at some point in the comics uh the whole suit is in his bones right which is stupid yeah like, uh, I that's never, actually the extremist the I, ag- extremist well the the inner extremist 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 it, it was a 90s thing it was extremist. a 90s thing extremist super fucking extreme man it was either late 90s early 2000s thing oh wait are we going back here again oh for fuck's sake i'm so tired of this yeah i know right and then alan wake this as as the super hell. handsome alan, alan ch- champion of light alan is actually in hell and this yeah, is just he, his hell why maybe is this, we're in hell why does his hell have women <gasps> matt in it? maybe we're dead and this is hell <gasps> well, I've only been here for 10 minutes. That's what you think. That's what you think. It's like Groundhog Day, except it's Groundhog Let's Play. And it's just like you, have to, Let's you play. just have to do the same episode over and over again. And the only, the, and the only way you escape is when you finally have but, like, you know, like a 10 million viewers or whatever. That's how you escape this game. We're going to be here forever. I know. Like we, we, <laughs> as of the time of this video, we have like 19. So we're just, we're doing great. Oh, wait, I can open a thing. What's in here? Like, there are Logan Paul videos that don't have 10 million viewers. Oh, Logan Paul. Logan Paul, you huge sack of shit. It's he's, great. What is wrong with him? He, uh, I mean, I saw some describe like, he's it like, as, like... Like, hey, don't like, do videos about suicide. Okay, and then he's I'll like, taser a dead rat. Yeah, like, I saw that. Are you that, a psychopath? And I was like, you're a sociopath. No, I think he's a sociopath. I think like, he literally has, like, sociopathic tendencies. Like, his brain, and, like, and the, and, and the people who watch his channel are, like, 10-year-old children who it's think... Like, it's like interesting. It's or like cool watching or somebody come to terms with their own psychotic, <laughs> psychotic you know, breakdown. Inner demons. It's like yeah. American Psycho in real time. Oh my god. What is it? Um. I try getting 10,000 viewers on YouTube now. You what is it? Fucking stupid bastard. Fucking stupid bastard. That is one of the greatest monologues in any oh, movie. Oh, truly. Ever. Truly, truly, truly. He's been compared to Elvis Costello. Yeah, but, but I really. think Huey has his own cynical sense of, a more <laughs> cynical sense of humor. Yeah. Oh, in yeah. 87, Huey released this. Four. <laughs> the most, I have the whole thing memorized. <laughs> the most accomplished album. <laughs> ah, I think, mas- I think the Undisputed Masterpiece. God damn it. Let me have my moment. Yeah, just let me have it. It's all it yours, man. Hip to be square. Song so catchy, most people don't listen to the lyrics. But they should. Because it's not <laughs> just about the pleasures of conformity and the importance of friends. It's also a personal statement about the band itself. <laughs> hey, Paul! It's just like, literally, I have the entire monologue memorized. Oh, I love it. In my fraternity, we just used to say it. Like, me and this other guy named Matt, we would just say it, Matt, like, back Matt, and Matt, forth. Matt, 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 Matt,
Bale, man. He is he he is a very talented actor. Oh, when he's not being forced to be in awful movies, which is like a third of the time. What was the maybe? last bad movie he was in? The, the only the only one I really remember is um, Terminator. I, yeah, Terminator Invasion. We are dead. We, we are all, all dead. dead. I just remember that one well, line. Well, obviously the best line. It in was that just mo- he was he was super quiet and then yelling. Well, obviously, the best line in that whole movie is, Oh, good for you. Oh, and good for it? you. Which and course, how was that? Which, I, which, of course, wasn't in the movie. No. He just said it between takes. <laughs> He's walking on my fucking set. <laughs> <laughs> so, oh, you and me are done professionally. You're, so hey, angry. hey. You're a nice guy, but hey, it's you're fucking nice unprofessional. Guy. You're fucking unprofessional, bastard. Is this your first movie? <laughs> <laughs> I love that. It's just He's like. just so mad. Well, it's great because, like, you just. Like, it's so rare. To, it, it's so rare, at least in my life. To see somebody absolutely fucking lose it. Exactly. Like, he did not have any of it. It was lost. He will never find any of it again. Right. It's not, I just, I can, you know what? I cannot wait to watch him play Dick Cheney. Oh, I, I'm... Oh, wait. He's, wait, he's, he's Dick Cheney? Adam McKay, is, who directed The Big Short and Are you Anchorman, fucking kidding me? is directing a movie about Dick Cheney, and Christian Bale is playing Dick Cheney. He's oh, my God. He's tons of weight. To I, I, am, I am... I am one million percent fit. I just want him to see the scene where he just... He's fucking like... He I'm just. Man, I'm Dick Cheney. Man, I Man. shot my friend in the oh. face, and then I made him apologize for it. Man. Man. Oh, good for you, man. How oh, was good it, for man. you. Oh, wait. <laughs> That's a big fucker with a big. Is this doll. your first war, you unprofessional bastard? <laughs> <laughs> This is so much fun to be had with Dick Cheney. There really is. Dick Cheney, who shot his friend in the face. And then made him apologize. And then that, apologized to him. <laughs> that's my favorite bit. Oh, well, you, oh, 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 man, Mr. Cheney, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry that I was in the way of your bird shot. <laughs> <laughs> my bad. There's a whole great Lewis Black routine about that whole uh, incident. Lewis Black. When, nice. um... He's talking about how they went quail hunting at a farm especially designed for quail. Yeah. He's like, they clipped the fucker's wings <laughs> and they made a fence, which means that they got to say, hey, I've got it in the corner. Yeah. And, and then the line he, he gives that kills me is, they turned a petting zoo into Auschwitz. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Lewis Black. I, I adore Lewis Black. He's hilarious. He's a fucking funny guy. Uh, he, he's the best part of, um, what is it? Accepted. Oh wait, shit. I'm sorry. Hey, uh, uh, uh sorry. Uh, uh, this episode's absolutely over. That's, uh, thank you very much for joining us. We'll see everybody next time for more Alan Wake. Bye, everybody. Yeah.